Welcome to Hatchbox Highlights, where we give you some quick insight on Hatchbox filaments. Today, we'll be highlighting our PETG filament. Print all your favorites and more with the premier quality of our PETG that will enable you to see your ideas and concepts engineered into a real and rewarding reality. PETG filament is known for being easy to work with, produces strong, durable objects, and is a filament that incorporates all the best traits of ABS and PLA together. Most printers support the nozzle and bed temperatures PETG filament requires. However, you do need to watch for PETG material behavior. When melted, it is less viscous than other thermoplastics, which could lead to oozing while printing. It also requires you to purge the extruder and clean out the PETG when switching filaments. Dialing and retraction, bridging, and other slicer settings will address most issues when printing PETG, but the final object may need post-processing to remove the remaining excess. A technique many use is drying the filament before use and after. Another great recommendation to make the print tougher is to anneal the PETG after it's printed. So you may be wondering, any special settings to print PETG? The recommended specifications are as follows. Recommended extrusion nozzle temp 230 degrees Celsius to 260 degrees Celsius. Recommended build platform temperature 70 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. You may be also asking what PETG is used for. The medical and food industries often use PETG plastic to package their products. The lightweight material is strong, durable, and flexible, which makes it ideal for protecting the enclosed products. A question we get asked frequently is, what are people doing with PETG? PETG enthusiasts not only produce medical and food packaging, but also love to produce cookie cutters, robotic, and mechanical parts, to name a few. Use PETG in your next build to ensure strength and stability. From all of us here at Hatchbox, thank you for tuning in. Until next time.